pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, boys and girls. Today I have my friend Layla with me, and we're going to ask her what she learned during our lessons that we've had throughout the school year. So Layla, what was the one thing that you learned? How to listen. That's right. And how we listen is we make sure our eyes are on the person who's talking, our ears, we're hearing what they're saying, and our mouth is quiet, and our hands and our body is, are still. So that is what it takes to be a good listener. So let's still practice how to listen. Have a good week. Do you know how to help if you see someone who's in trouble in the water? Here's a hint. Don't get too close. Call for help and reach or throw. Don't go. Jackson, don't get so close to the deep end. Before I get in, I will. I gotta fix my goggles first. Nick, catch this one. Jackson! I have to go help him. No, wait. If he's scared, he could grab me and pull me under the water, too. Then we'd both be in trouble. Longfellow says call for help and find something to reach or throw. Don't go. I'll do that. Are you all right? She did exactly the Pretty right God thing. Glory. She called for help, kept herself safe, and found something nearby to reach out to the person in trouble. Then she told him to grab it and hang on. Good work! You can also throw something that floats to the person in trouble. Grab a hold. Grab the buoy. Then you can pull the person in and still be safe. Okay. So, if somebody's in trouble in the water... Reach or throw, don't go! Do your part, be water smart. Do your part, be water smart. I live in the ocean, so I swim all the time. It's easy for me to float, but you're not a whale, so you may need help to stay afloat. So, don't just pack it, wear your jacket. Speed it up, Brittany, the guy's already on the other side. Okay, okay, I just had to get the life jacket. Here's yours. Yeah, whatever, I'll put it on later. Let's go, push off already. You should really put it on. You never know if we might end up in the water. That's not going to happen. But what if it did? Bobby, look! Is that an eagle or a hawk? It may not be possible to put on a life jacket when you're already in the water.
That's why you need to put it on before you get into a boat. Then, just sit back and enjoy the ride. And if you end up in the water, you'll stay afloat. So next time you ride in any boat, Don't just pack it, wear your jacket. Do your part, be water smart.